Today I'm going to read the story Cinco de Mauso or Cinco de Mayo. On the 5th of May, Mouse woke up and wiggled his whiskers. Spicy smells tickled his nose. Beanie, cheesy, ricey smells. A Mexican fiesta. Fantastico. Mouse crawled out of his hidey hole. Where was the fiesta? Not in the bathroom where the kids brushed their teeth. Not in the bedroom where mom folded laundry. Not in the kitchen where dad washed dishes. Mouse slipped out the front door and set off to explore. Mouse scampered down alleyways, past sidewalks and streetlights. He didn't see greedy cats stalking down the street. Before long, Mouse stopped at the edge of the city park. What sight met his eyes? All around were people eating, singing, dancing, strolling, playing. All around were food and drink, sombreros, sorabes, and bright paper flowers. Cinco de Mayo! His eyes grew round as he beheld a confetti-covered piñata, stuffed with candy and shaped like a burdle, hanging in a tree above the plaza. I must have that for my fiesta, he said to himself. He jumped, but the enticing piñata swung far out of reach. But all around were people eating, dropping snacks for mouse-sized meals, Yummy foods he'd never tasted before, tacos, tamales, chirosos, and flan. When Mouse was full, he dozed under the shade of a canopy. Cat crouched in the flower bed, tail up and head down, waiting for his chance. But all around came dancers, stamping, heels stomping, toes tapping, Mouse woke up and dashed away from Cat, ducking between dancers, pounding feet, zigging and zagging, jigging and jagging. Cat pounced. But missed his prey as Mouse darted beneath the stage. Mouse heard the mariachi band, or mariachis play, heard the guitaran, the trumpets, the sweet-voiced violins heard the boom of fireworks and people shouting, Viva Mexico! When at last Mouse's heart beat steadily, his whiskers quivered, once again he smelled the candy hidden deep in the piñata, but how to reach the sweets buried in the burrow, swaying high above the plaza, Lickety split, Mouse scrambled up the tree. He inched across the rope like a tightrope walker, one paw in front and one paw behind. He didn't see Cat hiding in the daffodils, but his stripy tail switching, his greeny eyes narrowed. The pinata swayed as Mouse climbed up. He smelled the treats, fruity, sugary, and honey sweet. He nibbled, he gnawed, but he could not reach the treasure inside. Just then he came to swish the, the swish of the stick as a child swung and someone jerked the piñata aloft. Mouse held on tight as the piñata swayed and sailed dipped and spun. A carnival ride for Mouse. In the plaza down below, Cat waited for Mouse to fall into his paws like a ripe plum. And then whap! A mighty blow and the burrow burst. Mouse flew through the air like a skyrocket and landed in the rose bushes, head spinning and tummy churning.
Candy spilled across the plaza, showering like hailstorms or stones. Children ran to and fro, laughing, yelling, and scooping up handfuls, pocketfuls, bagfuls. Someone stepped on Cat's tail and Cat yelled and sped home, his tail bruised and sore. When Mouse caught his breath, he sat up. The candy was gone. The people were leaving. The cleaners were sweeping and picking up trash. No dessert for me, Mouse thought, his whiskers drooping. But wait, hidden in the ivy, Mouse spied one lemon drop, overlooked, forgotten, and wrapped in shiny cellophane. He picked it up and ran home to his hidey hole for one last treat. Cinco de mouso, que felicidad.